Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I really do. It's the weekend as I record this in 2018. That means we're looking at a subset of my collection for the knife of the day. I guess it's knives of the day. Monday through Friday, I go through my collection one knife at a time, one day at a time. Every knife that you'll see in this video, I've done a separate video just focusing on that knife on my playlist, so go check it out. Today, I thought I'd switch it up a little. Today we're doing all of the Spotico HAP40 SUS 410 knives. All the HAP40 knives, which basically means sprint runs and a couple of exclusives. So let's talk about HAP40 and Spyderco. Spyderco has gone all in on HAP40 steel blades. It all started with the sprint run of the burnt orange HAP40 steel knives. Now, this is the ladybug. Can you see that line on the blade right there? Below it, you see the HAP40. And HAP40... Very hard steel, really retains an edge, is not a stainless steel. So what Spyderco did is they took two slabs of SUS 410 steel, which is a stainless steel, put one slab there on the front and one on the back. So it's half 40 steel, sandwiched in between SUS 410. It's a good steel, and Spyderco has gone crazy with it, mostly on sprint runs and on an exclusive. I have 10 Spydecos that we're gonna talk about, and then I'm gonna cry about two that got away, or one that has gotten away. I'll get it, don't worry. It'll come probably in the next week or so. <laughs> um. Or, or two weeks or so, I don't know, whenever Spyderco wants to send it to their collector's club. And one that's coming. But let's start right now with the Ladybug. The Ladybug is, of course, you're all familiar with the Spyderco Ladybug. One of their small, I use it as a keychain knife. Man, it's so well done, though. Spyderco does the Ladybug, and you'll see the Man Bug later. Just so well. This is part of that burnt orange sprint run series that Spyderco released a couple of years ago. 1.9 inch full flat ground blade. Remember, all of these are have 40 steel. This is sprint run. 1.9 inch blade. Um, 1.7 inch is the edge. The full length of this, just 4.4 inches, it only weighs 0.6 ounces. You know, I always carry a silver coin, a one ounce silver coin. This is half the ounce, half of the silver coin. Full flat ground, just a real nice spidecle. Fat Michelin Man hands, and it just fits nice around FRN. You'll see FRN scales a lot. FRN is fiberglass reinforced nylon. I call it space age plastic. It feels like plastic, but man, is it tough, super tough, and has a backlog. Let's see, all of these not not all of nine of the ten nines have a spiderco backlock, a backlock on the knife, uh, and then one has a real interesting knife. I mean, uh, lock. That is, we'll keep them open. That's the ladybug. The man bug. Of course, the man bug was created by Spyderco because all of us macho types said, I'm tired of telling my friends I have a ladybug in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. They wanted men to get the smaller knives as well. And so the man bug is just like the ladybug. It's wider though. 
as you can see. By the way, obviously these are all full flat ground blades. Um, you can see the blade is wider, pretty much the same size everything 1.9 inches 1.7 for the edge you can see it wider you can see the FRN scales wider as well look thicker it's manly <laughs> and so it's really nice I think if you haven't tried a ladybug or a man bug it's great for a small knife obviously it doesn't scare anyone uh, I only carry a silver loop with uh, three keys on it, so I always have, always have a small keychain knife on it. A lot of varieties in my collection. This, to me, when I first got my first Firefly, when I was collecting, starting collecting Spydacos, I thought it was just the perfect knife. I still think it's a perfect knife, I've gone on and on and I have a lot of nice smaller knives and gentlemen's folders, but man, this Dragonfly is just a perfect small EDC knife. Great for gifts, but great to carry too. It just does everything. Again, that spidical leaf shape. Uh, this has the forward chore, the 50-50 choil that I always talk about, that 50% of the choil is steel, the, the other 50 is the um, scale, and you just get that full forward choil. You get this nice jimping going up as well. You can really get in there with the ladybug. Really like it, I'm saying ladybug, sorry, dragonfly. Really loving it. 2.3 inches, it's bigger, but not that much bigger than really the ladybug. It's four tenths bigger, wider, of course, the blade, the full flat ground blade. 1.9 inch for the edge because of that forward choil. 5.6 inches total and only weighs 1.2 ounces. If you haven't tried a ladybug, and there are a lot of different ones. This, of course, is a sprint run because of the half 40 steel. Sprint runs for Spydeco means that they are special releases, usually around 1,200 pieces, given or take about 200 knives. Once they're sold, then you got to go on the secondary market. And because they're limited, they do go up in price. All of these burnt orange half 40 steel blades right now that we're going through are um, sprint runs from Spydeco. This is the Delica in the sprint run, full flat ground blade, obviously half 40 as we talked about. The Delica 2.9 inches, uh, the edge is 2.6 inches total, 7.1 inches and it weighs just 2.5 ounces you guys know that the delica it the delica along with the endora is just one of the pure standards for spydeco these are the knives that i recommend the most especially with those uh frn scales the fiberglass reinforced nylon scales i uh, just love it by the way um, the Delica and the Endora four-way clip, just a regular Spydeco clip. Of course, the Delica is that great standard just under the three-inch blade. The Endora is where you get bigger, 3.75 inches, so like just under 3.8 inches. And of course, the blade, the, the edge is 3.4 inches. The total knife is 8.7 inches. It's a big knife. Only 3.7 ounces because of that light FRN scales. Just really nice. The back lock is wonderful. I always recommend these. Of course, these are sprint runs. They're going to be more expensive. They are definitely... Um, harder to find however 
there are a lot of Delicas and Endorers all over the place. And if you get FRN, reasonable price Spydecos as well. And you can just beat the heck out of them and they just keep going. The stretch, the stretch, the Spydeco stretch is one of those knives to me that people don't talk about that much. And it's a really wonderful knife coming from Spydeco. Full flat ground blade. Look at this. Full, this is the Endora. This is the stretch. So it's a nice in-between knife. And there's the Delica. Bigger than the Delica, smaller than the Endora. It has that belly to it as well. You know, it almost has, without the swedge, it almost feels like, or looks, to me it almost acts like the Chris Reeve and single to me. You know, maybe a little bit more belly, a lot more belly, a lot more curvature, but it acts like that to me. It's a real nice knife. Uh, this is the Sprint Run Hap 40, of course, 3.4 inches, a little over 3.4 inches, about 3.45 inches. Three inch for that edge, that wonderful Hap 40 edge. Of course, four-way clip like we talked about, that sturdy four-way clip from Spydeco, the back lock, and the FRN scales. But just a wonderful knife. Right there, that's the original burnt orange Hap 40 steel um, sprint run collection from Spydeco that I really love, but oh, they came with this. Now... As you guys probably know, <laughs> you should know by now, I'm a huge Spydeco fan. I, I, I've tried to get his, and I have a huge collection of Spydecos. Check it out on the playlist. But man, when they said they were bringing back the Meerkat, I have two of the original Meerkats. They said they're bringing back the Meerkat. They're making it a sprint run, which I just loved, which meant it was... <laughs> limited but then they said it's gonna be hap 40 still and i just went crazy they're adding to the collection with this really blast from the past the mirror cat which reminds me of just the spydeco cat it's one of the value folder small knives with this fat leaf shaped kind of blade this is full flat ground of course uh hap 40 steel two inches the edge is 1.75 inches, and it's only 5.3 um, inches total. It weighs 2.5 ounces, and it just feels great in the hand. It has a small, I love this clip, small wire clip. You guys know I like the deep carry wire clip. Small. It's only tipped down. And usually when you get only a right or a left from Spydeco, it's not tipped down, it's tipped up. But I'll tell you why. What's the lock? It's not a back lock like we were talking about. This is the only non-back lock. It's not a liner lock, although it has stainless steel liners. It has what Spydeco calls the phantom lock. You see where the spider is right there? You push that forward, it releases the knife. Pushes it forward, it releases the knife, and it comes down. Just a nice knife with a special phantom lock that I really love. Lefty or righty, you could do it. No, you can't. You just have to do it. I don't know how that works. Will it happen? No, it has to come out this way. But you, you just would do it with your under finger, I guess, if you're lefty. But just a wonderful knife. Just fits that mold, but it's special. It feels the hand a lot better because of that size that it has with that stainless steel backspacer. But just a wonderful knife, as you can see, a real nice, let's see, maybe we can place them all where they're supposed to be, who knows. That, my friends, is, again, a limited edition sprint run from Spydeco, it's the Meerkat. And then Spydeco did a sprint run and said, forget the orange. <laughs> 
We want our brand new Cali 3. It was just released last year. I'm recording this in 2018. It was released in 2017. Sprint Run, again, calling back the Cali 3, which to me is just that, you know, just that real perfect size. You know, just a little... It's, it's a bigger... To me, it's a bigger Delica as far as the blade is concerned. A little fatter. Uh, I really like the Cali. Cali 3 with, yeah, HAP 40 steel. It has, oh, by the way, this didn't have FRN. It had orange G10 scales, burnt orange G10 scales on a Meerkat. This has green... Green G10, a little more rugged with that back lock, that leaf shape. You can see the line that shows the SU-S 4410 sandwiching. And on the back, I mean on the bottom, sorry, is that HAP 40. 3.5 inches for the knife. 3.1 for the blade because it has a really big charge. It's not 50 50, it's more 40 60, but man, is it comfortable in the hand. Just really comfortable. A nice knife from Spydeco. The full size, okay, 3.5 inch, 3.1 is the edge. The total length is 7.6 inches 7.6 inches and it weighs 3.1 ounce i like this i really do that those my friends so far have been the sprint runs from spydeco but let me just tell you something i've missed two of them <laughs> one i haven't missed two one i missed was the lum tanto the spydeco lum tanto from Blade HQ ah, with the <laughs> with the wonderful um, uh, oh man the wonderful uh, see-through G10 scales um, just natural G10 scales HAP 40 steel I love Bob Lum and I love his collaborations with Spydeco when Blade HQ Introduce that with HAP 40, it went in seconds or minutes off of their site. I'll be getting it as part of the collector's club, so I'll be able to show it to you, and I can't wait. I'm happy. I'm too old. I'm 58. I'm too old to be going against all those super nerd, knife nerds. Usually, before I became a collector, and, and you know, it's expensive and stuff, but before I became that, I wanted a knife anyway, no matter what. And I wouldn't make it to Blade HQ. I'd try and I'd lose. And then I'd just buy it uh, from someone on the secondary market as soon as I could. And pay them the extra money. But that's what we have. I missed that. And the other thing that's coming. I'm just showing you the last of the HAP 40 collection that I have. The other thing that's coming is um, Spydeco is going to be bringing... Um, a Warrencliffe Delica. You guys saw that they introduced the Warrencliffe Delica last year. Check it out on this playlist. You can see it. Um, but now they're going to have a HAP 40 in burnt orange. I think a burnt orange FRN. So another collection piece. It'll have the Warrencliffe blade. It'll be a Delica and it'll be HAP 40 steel. Hasn't been released yet. Can't wait until it does. Keep on this channel. We'll talk about it when it comes out. The last two HAP 40s, again, not burnt orange, but man, they have become two of my favorite knives. This was an exclusive from the knife, from knife Center. And um, man, the Knife Center is doing a lot of Spydeco exclusives that I want, that I get, that I'm happy to have. This is the Delica and the Endora. This time, though, it has this wonderful um, 
mahogany pekka wood laminate as the scales it feels great it looks wonderful it feels like real wood it feels great it looks wonderful of course you get that wonderful design of the delica and the endora and you get that wonderful steel hap 40 steel i think it's still uh available knife center i don't think they sold out they may have they may have sold out of the endora i mean the delica not the endora i'm not sure but if you want to check it out go check it out man those are nice nice knives there you have it a little special sorry it's so long but it's 10 knives <laughs> uh hope you and you enjoyed this video if you do thumb it up I'm recording this on a Sunday in March in 2018 for all you future viewers. Um, Monday, we'll have another knife of the day. We're going through my collection one knife at a time, one day at a time. When we get new knives, new spiticles, we add those um, to the daily videos and we still have a whole bunch more of my collection to go. So if you're enjoying all of these videos on a daily basis don't forget to thumb it up uh share these videos let people know that we're out there subscribe less than 30 percent of the people who take advantage of the videos hey they're free i'm just happy you guys are enjoying them honest to goodness but subscribe that helps me turn on your notifications so you don't miss the videos you guys have a perfect day seriously take good care of yourselves and your families and your friends um i don't know you but i do care about you um don't forget keep those pockets full goodbye